Hello, and welcome to the second mailbag episode, Thingbot. And today, we have an order from RC Life, which is a UK company, and my first ever Banggood order. Um, so our first thing is a... Hooray for the fact I turned off order focus. Let me do the thing. Oh, is it going to... Oh. S bus to PWM decoder. So this is for my Skywalker X1. Um, I want to put the um, four channel easy UHF receiver on a wingtip. Not for separation reasons, but because of uh, just room in the fuselage. So this is what it looks like. This little dude. I've had one of these before. Um, I lost it somewhere. Um, and it's technically my dad. So I don't want to cut it up because I want to extend this wire out. It's not very long. Uh, so you've got three pins there. Whoops. And another pin coming straight up. And you sort of program it through either this pin or this pin. I can't remember. It does come with instructions, which is nice. Apologies for the flicking. That's because of the uh, screen refresh rate. Something I've noticed on this though is that if you look at the pins, and I'm not I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to do this with the webcam thingy, but you can sort of see it. Those pins, I may take a picture and put it in, but you can see the pins towards the top of the page. I can't stop wiggling, which doesn't help. The pin and everything is reversed, which also doesn't help. The pins towards the top of the page have, are silver with solder. But look at those two middle ones. They're gold. They barely got any sol uh, solder on them. So that's a concern. I, uh, actually, if I look down the back of the... This is not... If you look down the back of there, there is a lot of solder down there. Which is good. It's just none on the top, which is slightly strange. I'm not sure exactly which bits are wrong. The bits without or the bits with. Um, another thing that's slightly strange about this is it was made... See if we can do this in, on the Christmas 2015. So it's a year and a bit. It's a year and a bit since it was made, apparently. Although it is CE marked, you see, Europe, Europe approves. Um, so yeah, Christmas Day 2015. So maybe Santa was just a bit delayed with this one. But anyway, that was from RC Life. Uh, will this work? Yes. Let's do that. So yeah. Um, I thought Sky S bus to be really good. Ten pound fifty. I also paid ninety five p for the um, second class shipping. Uh, it was uh, order went in on the thirtieth, and it arrived today on the fifth. So not too bad considering there was Christmas in the middle of all that, um, and it's two or three days. So it's been six business days, and they quote two or three, and they've at least had two or three days off. So bleh, not bad. Oh, and also there's obviously some catch-up on Christmas. But probably the most exciting thing is... Let me swap back to OBS. Excellent. This is my first ever order from Banggood. It came in a black thing. I asked on the Rag the Nuts Off forum if I made a mistake. Instead of separating items, I stuck it all in one order. But this got through without any taxes. I don't mind paying the tax. It's the robbing bastards at Parcel Force or whoever. Take a lot of extra stuff. More stuff for the X1 and other things. So this is a Runcam Swift. Uh, hopefully it's PAL and uh, I don't know. We'll look for that later. So that is the camera. We'll be going on it. Come on. I didn't order stuff from the UK uh, because they were out of stock. So this run cam swift might actually end up going on my mini quad and then the mini quad camera coming on to uh, the X1, I'm not quite sure yet. So that's the camera in its beautiful orangeness that the camera is making look horrendously yellow. Uh, we've got a lens cap, it's very, very, uh, it got left outside, which is always nice of you parcel force, which I think is who it was, excuse me. Uh, but it's coal, it's got dust on the lens, and as I say, bag of bits, and jollop. Always gonna love jollop. Let's 
Put things away, keep things neat. Uh, keep things neat to a point. <laughs> Chuck the rest of it over there. Because remember, the floor is designed to be a bin. Like just one big bin. This is my first ever set of um, Aeon Way. Aeon Way. Aeon Way antennas. I actually have another set coming by accident. So that's those. Uh, yeah, I've had VAS or Video Aero Systems ones, which are very good. I mean, it's nowhere near the original shape and it still works on Mini Quad. So this is one for the X1 and you get them in pairs anyway. And I accidentally ordered another pair, well, my parents did, uh, from Hobby King. So, got another set of these coming from Hobby King China. Which is interesting. Alright, what have we got next? We have got... The last thing that's dedicated to the X1 that I can't get into. It's nice that you came uh, resealable, but whether you will remain resealable, no, you won't. Make it in. So you cut anything, that's always an extra good sign. So, what have we got? We have got an autofocus that's shot. Uh, a. for purely. Um, what's the word? Decorative purposes. A 600mm watt transmitter, which comes with. A cable. I prefer these ones that have one cable than the ones that have like a JST and a Futaba connector on it, you know, a servo connector on it. Those always seem to blow up on me. And then just your throwaway rubber ducky. And of course, some paperwork, which is always nice. There might be some channel information on there. Uh, so that's a set, 600 milliwatt, so it will be only used for decorative purposes, it will never be turned on. Uh, and that will be used uh, on the X1, as I say. Um, I was looking at one of the Switcher ones, but that was expensive. That's less than a tenner. So it, it's not bad. Ten pounds, that is. Um, now these other things are slightly more interesting. Uh, that's one of those. That's one of those. And that's one of those. So I have three Minim, Micro Minim OSDs. I'll get one in a second. That is a... USB to FDTI manual focus. So that is one of those. You're just going to plug a lead in. We'll get that out in a second. And then this is a GPS. So that's slightly annoying. You said you would come with wires, and you haven't. And they're rather thin wires. So that's the GPS. It's for a, what is it for? A U-Blox? I have no idea what that was, but it should work, I think. <laughs> I think just any MEMS, NEMS, or whatever it's called, gyro. Uh, not gyro. GPS will work. That's crashed a buggy, that top bit. And very cold. I've almost got to, like, dry these out. Well, not dry them, I mean, not mean. And it comes with a 3M sticky pen. But I'm sure it says on the listing that it comes with a wire. Or maybe that was a different one. So here is your USB... So that's one of those type of USBs, luckily uh, one of them came with a GoPro. Uh, so you've got a jumper for what voltage, you've got these pins, which are nice. Now I've got, th I've got three of them, the reason why is I have closed the Logitech thing bob. There we are. Um, so the reason I've got three is there's basically three things you can do with these little on-screen displays. What? You can attach them to a flight controller, say a NAS32, for example, and it does some stuff. Um, you know, like your horizon mode, uh, it'll have a um, engaged brain. I've been flying today. It was a flying day, and I am very tired. It'll show the um, an artificial horizon uh, and things like that for mini quads. Um, it, you can also run it on its own, and it will show you the voltage and... Um, Flight time, that's what's going to be used in the X1, that's going to go on a mini quad for testing. And this, you can supposedly program it to work with a GPS and have a like a home arrow on it. So like a regular, uh, you know, like the cheapest on-screen display I've seen is about £65 on Banggood, whatever it's called. Uh, each of these little OSDs costs like £5. Uh, this costs £2.75, I think, to program it. And uh, the GPS costs just over a fiver. 
So it's like for ten pounds, you can have an on-screen display in any model that's relatively small. Because I mean, that's the size of it in my hand. I'll open one of these for you. Smaller than the size of postage stamp. So there we are. That's how big it is. There we are. So that's your finger. A load of pins that I'm going to have to solder things onto. It does come with these pins that you can solder on if you want to. But I think I'm just going to solder white straight on. But it'd be some precise work. Um, so yeah, uh, I might do a video on how these solder together. I'm not sure. Um, those scissors did not come in that parcel. Uh, so yeah, this. So yeah, one for a quad, one for a basic OSD for a plane or fixed wing, and another one for slightly more advanced. Doesn't have a current sensor like the 65 pound one. But voltage should be fine, and you can actually put a current sensor onto these. But I couldn't find one that looked like it made sense, and also they were all quite expensive. So I want, you know, I'll do some more research. This was pretty much just a. It's five pounds. We'll see if it works. It should do. It should do. But we'll have to see. Uh, anyway, so that was it. That was my first Bangor order. Order. It came through with no attack of VAT, which is nice. Don't mind VAT again, but I do mind. The scranging bastards at um, Royal Mail Parcel Forces will charge you like eight quid. Uh, I'll have to uh, do a video on the story of me paying 50 cents too much and ending up having to pay 14 pounds or whatever it was to get my parcel, which sucked. But anyway, yeah, first Bangled order. I, I sent for it on the 27th, and again, it arrived on the 5th, which, while I'm not sure if they actually technically closed for New Year's, because then New Year's is end of January, beginning of February. Um, it came pretty quick. I'm quite happy that it sort of ca it came in sort of the equivalent of less than a week. I mean, it came it came only two days sooner than the RC Life order, or you know, two days less shipping time, uh, which is no which is no negative to RC Life by the way. Um, that's just because I choose that um, cheapest, nastiest shipping, and of course New Year's. So if I go back to this, so that's RC Life. So there's your Aomway antennas. There's my Runcam, Run, Runcam Swift. It's not three quid off since I bought them, you bastard. That is my totally just an ornament. That's the word I was looking for. Um, five point eight units. Let me look at that. I mean, I was looking at some others, and they were like twenty-seven pound. And again, I was going to order all this, a lot of this stuff from Radio C, but they just didn't have it in stock. So I thought, well, bang good, here we come. Because I thought, and sort of proven with the RC Life order, it wouldn't come any quicker, really. Than ordering it from China, so I thought, well, we'll have a go. These are your micro minimum OSDs for five pounds. Of course, prices are always changing on Banggood. Uh, this is your FDTI convertible Bob, two pound fifty. So you only need one of those to program all of them. Uh, so on each plane, you can have just one of those, or like well, this. You see, it comes with a lead. And that supposedly you're cheating me out of a lead. And you've cheated me out of a connector. What? Um, I'm going to show it to that camera. Uh, especially if I... Manual focus. So you see, there's just pads there. And as you can see in the back good listing, there should be a connector and a wire. Apparently they've got rid of that. Uh, which has confused me slightly because I now I'm not fully sure how to wire it up. Um, I'm gonna have to have a look, you know, like zoom in and see. Right, well, that bit goes to there, and that bit goes to there. Um, but yeah, I don't know what the two big pads are for. I mean, I presume the little pads are all just um, for each wire, but they're so small pads. Like, let me bring up OBS to make sure you can see. The pads are so small, that could really be a challenge. I mean, if I compare that to a... Can I somehow compare it to two, one of these? Like, it's a lot smaller than those. This is all a disaster. Something has crashed in the background. I hope it's not this recording. No. Um, so, yeah, that's that's going to be interesting to try and work. Um, but, yeah. But damn bang good. You, you did me out of a connector and some wire, which is sucky. Um, but yeah, it's just a general MEMS gyro, works on 5 volts, that's the critical thing. Um, and the MEA, that might be wrong actually. 
9600, that had to be right. What I'm going I'm to say it right now. Don't buy this specific GPS thinking that it's been cleared by somebody to work with that. Because it might not do. One of these minimum OSDs. Camera's back to front. Yeah, don't buy this and think it'll work with this. I'll, I'll, I'll let me be the guinea pig and I'll uh, do a video on this, which is a perfect reason to subscribe. Uh, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, please subscribe and leave a comment if you have any questions, and I'll try and get back to things. But uh, yeah, bye.